From Harry Potter to a Hannah Montana co-star to America's sweetheart Reese Witherspoon, these stars all revealed a naughty streak lurking underneath their carefully crafted, wholesome screen images. Get your saucer and teacup ready as we reveal which celebs aren't as innocent as they seem. Emma Roberts' big break was a starring role on Nickelodeon's Unfabulous as the awkward, guitar-wielding, pre-teen Addie Singer. Though she's gone on to nab some notably dark roles in recent years, she's failed to completely shake her girl-next-door image. She is, after all, Julia Roberts' niece, and there are a few things more wholesome than her past career in pop music. But Roberts ended up shattering the illusion in 2013 when she was arrested for domestic violence. Police responded to reports of a fight between Emma and Evan Peters, her boyfriend and American Horror Story co-star. Cops arrived to find Peters with a bloody nose and bite mark, which led to Roberts getting handcuffed. The pair allegedly both got physical, but only Peters had obvious injuries. Since he didn't press charges, she was released hours later. Maybe American Horror Story's dark vibes got the best of her. Or maybe it was just a bad day. We don't really know for sure what happened. Either way, she isn't anywhere near as innocent as she seemed while strumming a six-string in her childhood bedroom. Millions of fans watched Daniel Radcliffe grow up in the Harry Potter films, from awkward teen wizard to fully-fledged movie star. Little did we know that he had had demons bigger than Voldemort and he couldn't just whisk them away with a spell. In 2010, he quit drinking in fear that he was becoming an alcoholic. Though he claimed he never drank on the set of Harry Potter, he has admitted to coming to work drunk. In a 2012 interview with Shortlist, he revealed, The drinking was unhealthy and damaging to my body and my social life. That's beyond question. I was living in constant fear of who I'd meet, what I might have said to them, what I might have done with them. So I'd stay in my apartment for days and drink alone. I was a recluse at 20. It was pathetic. It wasn't me. I'm a fun, polite person, and it turned me into a rude bore. The actor also reflected on that time in his life during an appearance on The Wendy Williams Show. You know, in the end, it was leading me to a place where I was not uh, really happy in my life, and, yeah. and, um, and it's much better now that I've stopped. Radcliffe might not be as innocent as he was during his early days at Hogwarts, but he did manage to overcome his demons. Presumably, he had to destroy a few Horcruxes in the process. Also, his story begs the question, can you get a DUI on a broomstick? Big Little Lies gave audiences a rare chance to see Reese Witherspoon as a bit of a bad gal. But it turns out, this sweetheart actress has actually had some real-life practice. In 2013, America's sweetheart was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct, and as some have argued, it might have actually saved her career as she geared up to play grittier roles like in 2014's Wild. Witherspoon was ultimately cuffed that night because she tried to interfere with the arrest of her husband, James Toth, who was being charged with a DUI. Specifically, she tried to get out of her car when the officer told her to sit down. She claimed she was pregnant when she wasn't. She told the officer he was going to be on national news and she yelled proudly that she could get out of her vehicle because she was an American and had the right to, quote, stand on American ground. She later spoke about the incident to reporters at a press conference for Wild, saying, I think it was a moment where people realized that I wasn't exactly what they thought I was. I guess maybe we all like to define people by the way the media presents them, and I think that I showed I have a complexity that people didn't know about. It's part of human nature. I made a mistake. We all make mistakes. The best you can do is say sorry and learn from it and move on. Before Donald Trump ever considered pardoning her and before she teamed up with Snoop Dogg, Martha Stewart was the queen of domesticity. She built an empire of perfectly folded linens and not-too-sweet lemonade recipes after retiring from her life as a stockbroker. But it turned out that the domestic goddess was also basically living a real-life version of billions. In 2003, Stewart shocked housewives everywhere when she was indicted on criminal charges. Most people probably remember her insidious actions as insider trading, but she was actually only found guilty of four counts of obstructing justice and lying to investigators about a well-timed stock sale. Regarding the insider trading in 2001, Stewart sold almost 4,000 shares of stock of I'm Clone Systems, a company that was helmed by her friend Samuel Waxel. Stewart mysteriously unloaded the shares the day before the company announced an FDA ruling that caused the stock price to drop. 
She ended up paying $195,000 to the Securities and Exchange Commission in a civil suit, while her criminal case focused on lying to investigators. She ultimately was sentenced to five months in a minimum security prison. As for her life in prison, Stewart has described that period of time as, quote, horrifying. Wheel of Fortune is arguably one of the most wholesome TV shows around. Contestants spin a wheel, pick some letters, and guess a phrase. There's not much to it. Perhaps that's why its beloved longtime host, Pat Sajak, decided it'd be okay to work while totally blitzed. In a 2012 interview on ESPN's Highly Questionable, Sajak admitted that in the earlier days of Wheel, he was sometimes drunk while shooting the show. He admitted that during this era, he and Vanna White would frequent a Mexican restaurant near NBC's Burbank studio and indulge on some margaritas during their dinner breaks. Van and I would go across and have two or three or six and then come and do the last shows and have trouble recognizing the alphabet. They're really good tapes to get hold of. You could say this means that the wheel was spinning in more ways than one for Sajak. To be fair to him, he also claimed that he would be hesitant to drink anything now, but if he did imbibe again, it's worth wondering if it would significantly impact his performance. After working his way through 7,000 episodes, he could probably host the show just fine while passed out on the floor. No one said anything, so I guess I guess I did okay. Now, you know, if I were to inhale the, the cork and a bottle of wine, I would probably keel over. I'm getting a little older for this. It's hard to imagine the charmingly clumsy host of Tall Time spending a lifetime in jail for trafficking cocaine, but that's a reality Tim Allen almost faced. The sitcom dad was arrested at Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport in 1978 for possession of over 650 grams, or nearly one and a half pounds, of cocaine. He pleaded guilty to drug trafficking, provided some names of his fellow dealers, and landed a reduced sentence of three to seven years instead of life. He ended up serving two years and four months. In a 2017 interview with Closer Weekly, Alan opened up about his stay in prison. Without it, he might have never gotten the shake-up he needed to pursue a career in comedy. As he put it, it was a watershed moment. It put me in a position of great humility, and I was able to make amends to friends and family and refocus my life on setting and achieving goals. In 1991, a decade after his release, his sitcom Home Improvement debuted on ABC. Living up to Disney's strict standards is basically impossible, especially if you're a teen coming into your own. Poor Vanessa Hudgens shared her pristine high school musical image in an instant with a single racy photo leak. In 2007, photos of the then 18-year-old star that left nothing to the imagination leaked online. In a 2013 interview with Paper magazine, she recalled, that was by far the worst moment of my career. Though Hudgens' scandal was indeed embarrassing, it might have actually helped her career. With the sudden shift away from a squeaky clean image, Hudgens was able to put Disney in her past, a leap many child stars don't ever manage to make, and dive into the world of indie flicks. Since then, she's played a homeless teen in Gimme Shelter and a bikini-clad machine-gun-toting bad girl in Spring Breakers. For a time, the most controversial thing about Mitchell Musso was the way he would mix Argyle sweaters with pinstripe pants. Musso is best known as Hannah Montana's BFF Oliver, but unfortunately he couldn't have the best of both worlds, as his squeaky clean Disney image was shattered by his real-life actions. If only he had a blonde wig to cover it up. Following the conclusion of Hannah Montana, Musso landed a starring role in Disney XD's Pair of Kings. The show garnered two Emmy nominations, but Musso ended up leaving after some controversy. He was arrested in 2011 for a DUI after failing to slow down for cops who were directing traffic. He reportedly took a breathalyzer that showed he was way over the legal limit. This would have been bad enough for a 21-year-old, but Musso was also still underage at the time, meaning that any booze in his system at all would have theoretically ended up getting him booked. He took a plea deal in 2012 and was sentenced to 36 months of informal probation. Drake and Josh star Drake Bell has been out of the spotlight in recent years, and for fans who grew up watching him, that's probably for the best. Thanks to some high-profile arrests and explicit photo leaks, his current life would probably completely shatter any glossy, nostalgic image of the Nickelodeon heartthrob. In 2016, he spent less than two days in jail following a DUI arrest. Of course, he still managed to have a dreamy, wholesome-looking mugshot. 
This was his second DUI arrest, as he apparently didn't learn his lesson when he was charged with the same crime in 2009. Beyond driving under the influence, Bell has made some other questionable choices in recent years. In 2015, he posted and then deleted an insensitive tweet about Caitlyn Jenner's transition, leaving fans outraged at the unprovoked potshot. By 2018, he was leaning into his new bad boy image and posed in his birthday suit for People magazine to promote a racy new music video. More alleged explicit photos of the star leaked later that year, sealing his transformation in the public eye from a Nickelodeon teen to a naughtier older man. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.